I'm so infuriated that my badass grandma was completely, totally taken advantage of. And it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit her fault. But no. You could actually even say it's all of the evil, rotten abusers fault they always lie to their victims who they target who are desperate i mean all victims are desperate for a place to live and that's the truth and who's out there to help them out oh the church oh the church is there to help out and i will put down a lady and sorry putting her down but she had people live in her very very small house very very sweet woman not sure about her husband but she's a lot sweeter than he is and uh, they live in a too small of a house but it doesn't matter how, how, how small your house is um Badass grandma can sleep on the floor. Can't just give her a little corner. Um, you know, it's no excuse for you not to allow a desperate victim into your house who has nothing. I mean, God, it would really suck, but I would be, um, I'm that type of a person I feel sorry for people. I would monitor them 24-7. Yeah, well, look at my life. Uh, I was a victim to all my abusers, and I was forced to st try to stay strong while they totally monitored me 24-7. You know, I, I had a really lousy life. All right, so, yeah. If I had a place, and... I mean, if you're super rich, you don't need that at all. You just, like, uh, put cameras up in a, in a room you provided for them. And, um, in a mansion. <laughs> Not a mansion, just a normal fucking house. Okay. I decided to buy old St. Joe's. Okay. Yeah. I'm a billionaire, and they did nothing. Lycaster, PA, never does anything. And they had St. Joe's empty there for at least three years. And all these people were like, oh, well, they're going to open it up to the homeless. Oh, they're going to help out poor people. Nah, never happened. Nah, in fact, whatever. But uh, I'm just so disgusted that uh still the original uh thought of uh this video was a mad badass grandma uh, got taken advantage of and then she's going into her place of uh oh i'll just die in the street i'll die out in the dumpster uh, you know and that's me so she was harmed a lot as a child to have the subconscious thoughts still in her head now she fortunately did have a great paying job and she did have a life but unfortunately um maybe she got senile and all these people took advantage of her and it's sad to be a target and i you know there's no one else, there's no one to help uh, a desperate victim. I'm saying just give them the corner of your fucking garage, for God's sake. You know, there's nothing in Leicester at all. Leicester, PA, is completely, totally rotten to the homeless. They don't give them anything. And you know what? If a rich person or just the average show 
So you know what? I'm allowing you to stay in this fucking garage. I feel sorry. So I'll bring in a bucket of ice for you every day with water. All right, a whole thing of water, little bottled water things. A bucket of, uh, you know, I'll just buy ice. You throw it in the bucket. You do whatever you want. And there's plenty of fucking food out there. And Lycast Tour, PA, that you can fucking find. Here's a can opener if you need a can opener and you want to open up some cans that you find. That's about it. And check on my little... He can check on his little homeless person. And he'd be like, um... Alright, felt sorry for you. about your cheesesteak. There we go. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, that's alright. Sometimes to drink some root beer. Which is my favorite. Out of all the sodas. Like... Soda's bad for you. Uh, Mugs root beer is like the best root beer. And I like orange soda. I do not drink Coke or Pepsi. Sprite's better than them. And then for some reason I like orange and the best one is root beer. But I don't drink soda. But all these people drink soda. Soda, soda. Soda's bad for you. Why am I not healthy? That I try to eat healthy foods. Right, I'm just being real, that no one's real. Like, I needed my own place. And yeah, then I'd have my shit in the garage, right? And a light, and that's it. Right. And be like, hey man, you know, this is disgusting. Here's your little... They used to have little, um... When I went camping, it looked like a toilet seat, and it was just a... Uh, I can't still I, it was just a little seat uh, that you folded up but it had a toilet seat on it and I just had a bag underneath it <laughs> yeah that's what I'd need in the garage for my toilet I mean I, you know I wasn't ever given anything more with my fucking late husband or any of my other abusers I was never given anything more than that and I, I mean, with the severe abuse, you know, pretend a lot narcissist can pretend all he wants. But I, you know, him making me scared to death in his fucking apartment. Oh my God. You know, bringing back PTSD for my husband, you know. I, yeah, he's just, ah, you know, um, a nightmare. That, you know, oh yeah, he did have a shower. Well, guess how many times I took, took a shower there. Next to nothing. Why would I? God, he's a gross hog. His whole apartment is a gross hog. Never ever could put anything in the refrigerator, rotted food. But sometimes I tried, and then I wanted to get it out, and then I was screamed at. Ah, you opened the refrigerator. Why? Why? You have no respect. You're so ungrateful. I told you not to open the refrigerator. <laughs> this is a total nutcase. That's who the nutcases are. The abusers are just, oh my God. Have their temper tantrums. They're emotionally stunted from childhood. I don't give a fuck how much your mommy fucking screamed at you that, yeah, Richard. <laughs> You don't have to open the refrigerator! He didn't have to take out his legion of demons uh, that were transported from his mommy to him. To me. All the time in his apartment. I just don't... What an awful, awful, awful abuser. And, and, and these abusers have no memory of it. Oh, I... I never said that. I never did that. Well, she's crazy. She makes up stories. Okay, I don't even know why I originally... Um, I'm just tired this morning. Yeah, I'm really, really upset with, uh, of course, my friend that I call Badass Grandma. And she can't be helped because she... They stole all her money. I mean, I consider it stealing. 
oh, she gave it to him. No, it, it's kind of like, you know, she's put in a position where they stole it. Like, my family stole my social security money, but not that when I was living with them. Oh, well, they're your pay representative. Yeah, does the victim have the choice here? Does a victim have a choice who the pay representative is? And I don't know, they don't. And by the way, the pay representative does shit. Because the pay representative steals $40 from the poor victim that should have all their money. And they don't do nothing. And they're like, ha ha ha, I got 40 bucks in my pocket. Every month, I got 40 bucks in my pocket. But, you know, all these loser pay representative uh, places that say they take care of their money. Oh, uh, yeah, that's really easy. Uh, just pay for their horrifying room. Probably $555 from Gerhardt that I call Dead Heart, where I lived above my rapist in 2012. Dead Heart. Gerhardt Ministry, and people smack crack there in that fucking building. 12 Farnham Street. They, they, all the Gerhardt buildings, they smack crack. Oh, you know, that's the D-Jugs here. Well, and every last one of them, they smack crack, so why don't you get those people out of there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, that, that's right. This is a tour where they do nothing at all. Oh, my God, they don't. Um... Yeah, so... Yeah, my life is just awful here because I'm a poor victim and my original abusers made sure that I had nothing and never gave me anything. So then the next abuser down the line, I'm a target for her. Wow, look how desperate she is. Wow, look how bad... Um, I know... Um, badass grandma... Wow, she's that desperate. Wow, wow, you know what? We can get her. We can steal her money. Wow, wow, look at look at that girl. We can steal her money. Wow, we can we can well, they could steal money from me, but they could steal um they could abuse me to death. Wow, you know what? I bet I can abuse her to death. Wow, yeah, yeah, this <laughs> pretend a lot narcissist mine. Working over, working overtime. <gasps> I can abuse her the most I've ever abused anybody in my life. Yes, she's so desperate. Yes, it has nothing, no resources at all to back her up. I can totally take advantage and abuse her to death, and I will. And that's what happened with me and him. That's exactly what happened. He is disgusting, disgusting, horrifying. And I would not call him human at all. Absolutely not.